Our journey continues. No Man's Sky. I remember when No Man's Sky came out originally. I, like most people, thought the game looked bland and boring as hell. I remember specifically thinking that I would rather down a shot of acid than shoot a laser beam into a rock on a muddy looking planet over and over and over again. But since then, I've been on the sidelines watching witnessing, seeing No Man's Sky have one of the greatest turnarounds in gaming history, or so that's what everyone is saying. But just recently, I saw a trailer for a massive update called Worlds 1.0, and that trailer just floored me. I felt like every red blood cell in my body just started vibrating at the same time as I watched that trailer, and I knew, I knew I was doing myself a disservice by continuing to ignore that game. So I finally picked myself up up a copy and I've been playing it. I've been playing it a lot and I have a lot of thoughts that I want to share with you. I wouldn't really say this video is a review. I'm sure most people know what the game is at this point. This video is just going to be me, some random dude, talking about their experience and giving their opinion on No Man's Sky after playing it for the first time in 2024. So if you're debating jumping in for the first time yourself, you can use this video to see what someone else thinks of it in its current state being a new player themselves. Or if you're a veteran to this game, if you've already stepped foot on a billion planets already, you can use this video to hear what a new player thinks of the game that you're addicted to. But anyway, Enough with this introduction, let's talk about No Man's Sky. So, as of making this video, I have a little over 10 hours of playtime in No Man's Sky. I cut myself off completely after the 10 hour mark because I specifically wanted to make a video about my introduction to the game, but depending on how this video performs, I'll make a follow-up video about my next 10 hours of playtime, and then the 10 hours after that, and so on and so on and so forth. But anyway, when you load into No Man's Sky for the first time, you're hit with your standard survival crafting game style tutorial. You wake up on a mysterious planet. You're not quite sure how you got there. You're not quite sure who you are or what you're doing. And the first few tasks will have you learning about the fundamentals of the gameplay. You'll repair your spacesuit, which will allow you to survive on toxic planets. You'll build your multi-tool, which will allow you to gather resources and mine things. And then eventually you can kill things with it. And it's worth noting here that I'm not that well-versed in survival crafting games. It's a genre that I've barely scratched the surface of. I've tried a few here and there, and I didn't really Really vibe with most of them if I'm being honest with you but I did play and review Grounded when it came out on the PS5 earlier this year and I did really really like that game but I say all of this to make a point and that point is that out of the small amount of games in this genre that I have played No Man's Sky undoubtedly has the smoothest simplest, new player friendly gameplay out of them all. The way that you collect resources with your multi-tool is hypnotically simple yet satisfying, but not nearly as satisfying as mining for resources. I'm convinced that if you gave me a day or two, I could reduce a whole planet down to its last atom, Thanos style, and love every single moment of it. My eyes like black and white spirally circles as my heart beats a slow and steady 450 beats per minute. But not only only is the core resource gathering super fun and simple to do, but how you then utilize and manage those resources is super streamlined as well. This game obviously has some survival gameplay mechanics as well, but like a lot of other aspects of this game, that too is streamlined and easy to do. You won't be desperately trying to drink water from a dirty old gym sock you find in a ravine in an attempt to not die every 15 minutes, nor will you eat 8 pounds of flesh cooked on a car battery every 30 minutes because your stomach starts growling before your body even has a chance to digest your last meal. The survival mechanics are a lot less annoying here and a lot less all-consuming than a lot of other games in this genre. You don't need to eat or drink. Instead, you need to focus on making sure your spacesuit has enough oxygen or whatever to keep you alive and that your spaceship has enough fuel to, you know, maneuver from planet to planet. And that's pretty much it in terms of the survival mechanics, at least from what I've discovered so far 10 hours in. And another great thing about this game is that all of the resources that you could possibly need to stay alive are always really close to you, no matter where you are or what planet you're on. You can just scan the environment and all the core resources 
resources will be right around you somewhere. So you won't be running around aimlessly trying to find what you need most of the time. And I know, I know I've used the word simple and streamlined quite a bit now, but I don't want you to think I mean that as an insult because it really works in the benefit of No Man's Sky because a lot of games like this are so hands-on and require your undivided attention. They have your eyes darting around trying to keep track of the weather, your hunger, your thirst, the temperature, and sometimes even enemy players. And there's nothing wrong with that. I know eventually I'm gonna find a game like that that I really, really love, and I can definitely see the appeal of it. But this game, again, is such a chill experience. It's a game where you can turn your brain off and just vibe out, but simultaneously, it feels rewarding. It feels like you're actually accomplishing something. If you've never played this game before, I'm sure that the gameplay that you're seeing right now probably looks boring. It's hard to capture exciting looking gameplay in this game but trust me when you're in it when you're the one doing it when you're the one clicking the buttons and doing the things it's just mesmerizing and so peaceful but anyway after you learn the core survival mechanics you're gonna start learning the crafting mechanics and no man's sky you're gonna be crafting a lot you'll use resources you collect to craft different components that you use to build spaceship parts and stuff for your spacesuit and multi-tool upgrades those sort of things but you can also craft and create bases and buildings you can put a floor down then walls around that floor and then a roof on those walls and again just like the survival and resource gathering gathering aspects of No Man's Sky. The base building aspects are also just so damn satisfying. Every time I've been able to build a base in a video game, there's usually a decent amount of frustration that comes along with it. You know how it is. Walls don't line up properly, doors clip the ceiling, colors don't match, or just various other annoying oversights. Now granted, I haven't built that much stuff in No Man's Sky yet, but from what I have experienced, the base building here is just so damn buttery smooth it's easy to do the components cost barely any resources so you're always able to just do it and pieces snap together with such elegance and ease that it almost builds itself but what really blows my mind the most about no man's sky the thing that's the biggest feather in this game's cap which it should be because it's the game's biggest selling point and all of its marketing is the space travel and the space exploration it absolutely blew my mind when I got into my spaceship for the first time, flew through the planet's atmosphere, then out into outer space, then from there I flew to a different planet in the distance, I entered that planet's atmosphere and I landed and I got out of my spaceship and I started exploring the planet on foot all seamlessly without a single noticeable loading screen. Now, maybe a lot of games do that and have done that for a long time now. Maybe that's old tech. I don't know, but I don't think I've ever personally experienced such smooth transition on such a large scale before. Like, I love Starfield. I know a lot of people didn't like that game as much, and I completely understand why people didn't vibe with that game, but for me, I really, really, really liked it. But now, having experienced No Man's Sky, I can really see how dated Starfield feels in terms of its loading screens and its engines. I'm gonna be honest, when I return to Starfield, field, it's going to feel a little bit worse now, probably noticeably worse. But anyway, back to exploration. It's great in this game. Is it as good as a fully handcrafted, dense open world like The Witcher 3? No, not at all. But a lot of planets look and feel different with a lot of different species to discover. There's planets that are like rocky wastelands with a constant toxic cloud hanging around. Then there's planets that feel lush and clean and vibrant and pretty much everything in between when you're exploring planets there's a lot of different stuff you can do different planets have different resources you can collect some are much rarer than others you can harvest it to sell for cash or to stock up yourself for when you need it for crafting and you can use your multi-tool to dig into the ground and find a cave system which is just so insane and so fun to do down there you can find ancient relics that you can sell or just a bunch of other weird shit now 
I will say, most of this game is procedurally generated, so like I said, a lot of planets do feel different from each other, but from the planets that I've visited so far, there are also a lot of similarities. Cave systems look and feel almost identical, no matter what planet you're on. A lot of plant and rock formations look like carbon copies of each other, even though they're technically different on paper, and a lot of alien life forms feel practically the same and act practically the same. Now granted, I've only been to maybe eight different planets at this point and only visited two or three different solar systems, so maybe things change up drastically the farther out into the void you explore, but if things don't change up more as I progress through the game, I can see No Man's Sky lose a bit of steam a bit quicker than I otherwise would have expected. But anyway, eventually as you progress through the early parts of the game, you'll make your way to a space station and eventually a space anomaly space station. The space anomaly is where you'll see other online players and you can interact with them, but both of these locations basically serve as hubs. You'll go there to sell all the stuff that you don't need, to upgrade your space suit and your multi-tool, to change how your character looks aesthetically, to pick up side quests and busy work, and to buy different blueprints and crafting recipes. Basically, at these locations is where you realize No Man's Sky, in a lot of ways, is also a live service game, and I I don't mean that to sound like a negative, I actually think the mechanics are implemented really, really well here. When I was going around talking to the vendors, talking to the people who upgrade my stuff, and comparing what I needed to progress to the actual rewards that you get for completing objectives, I at first thought, man, this game is going to be a grindy grind fest, and in a lot of ways I can tell that's true, but then I actually started doing the math a little bit in my head, and I didn't mind it at all, because it's a grind that I'm genuinely excited to do for a few reasons. The first being, if you couldn't tell already, I really like the core gameplay. As of now, it hasn't gotten old or stale for me, so grinding for actual upgrades just gives me a reason to do what I was already doing and what I like doing. Second, all of the stuff that you can work towards and unlock actually seems worthwhile and useful. All of the upgrades for your spacesuit, buying new and better weapons and guns and multi-tools. I can't wait to eventually get other vehicles too, like land vehicles. I'm currently saving up for a cooler, more badass spaceship. And of course, there's other stuff you can unlock through grinding, like different blueprints for different base building components. You start with your standard floor, wall, ceiling combo, but you can eventually unlock different aesthetics and styles and different features as well, like decorations, storage containers, stairs, and displays display pieces. I can't wait to eventually create a mega space mansion on some planet somewhere. But how's the story in No Man's Sky? How's the narrative tissue that connects everything? It's alright. I'm not that far into the story. I did just enough of the story to pretty much finish up the core introduction and the tutorial. I got to the point where the game pretty much says, now go on and make your own path. But it's pretty standard so far. Like I said, you wake up, you don't know who you are, you don't know what's going on, you receive mysterious transmissions from an unknown entity, and you're trying to solve a mystery. That's all I really know so far. So far, it's nothing to write home about. It's not groundbreaking story storytelling by any means, but it's enough for me to feel like I have a reason for existing in this world, and that's pretty much all I need in a game like this, but I'm really curious to see how the narrative progresses. I wonder if it'll get far better and more engaging, or if it will continue its slow pulse approach. But all of that took me about 10 hours of playtime, learning the basics of the game, getting through the tutorials and the learning curves, doing a little bit of exploration on my own. After the game essentially told me to go and be free, I did a couple random side things. I followed a star chart to a random planet it where I found an inventory upgrade and that was pretty cool. Then I accepted my first hunting quest and I tried out combat for the first time. So far, combat in this game is very lackluster, shooting feels tacked on, and no animals have proven challenging to defeat. Most will die if you just sneeze on them it seems, but I'm giving the combat, the whole aspect of that game, the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure it'll
it'll be more fun when I unlock better weapons, and I'm sure there will be a point in this game, whether it's how the story progresses or side activity that combat takes the center stage, at least a little bit, but just the fact that this game has combat at all is something I appreciate a whole lot. Then after that, I found the prettiest planet in the solar system that I was in, and I built my first actual house. It came out super simple, but it's a start, and I can't wait to make a better one like I already mentioned, but anyway... That's my experience with No Man's Sky so far. And if you start the game in 2024, I'm sure your start will be pretty similar to mine. Though I'm now at the point where I feel like I can go anywhere and do anything. And I'm hyped as hell for my next 10 hours. Again, depending on how this video performs, I'll definitely make a part two to this video documenting my next 10 hours of playtime. But... That's my experience in No Man's Sky. Have you played it before? If you have, do you like this game? Are you one of those people that's addicted to this game and has put hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of hours in? Are you someone who played the game years ago and you're interested in coming back? Or have you played it and it wasn't your cup of tea? Or are you gonna ignore it completely? No matter what your thoughts are on No Man's Sky, I wanna hear them in the comments below. Anyway, thank you for watching, especially if you watched this far. Once again, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.